Wood, wood grain doors was a, was a vision of, of, of wood grain to leverage their vertical integration. Um, the acquisition of this facility was in, in May of 1985. And at that time, the facility was producing moldings and, and door products, very, very few doors. The facility is located in Napa, Idaho, and uh, once again, um, became part of wood grain in, in 1985 based on, or really driven by Reed and Kelly's vision of leveraging vertical integration. We have an operation up in Fruitland, Idaho that, com uh, that produces components, and uh, primarily pine components, and this operation gave us the opportunity to in integrate those into the, the doors we, we, uh, we, we build today. And it was an engineered solution. It was not just taking solid, solid material, but uh, engineering it into door components that gives the door better doors better performance. So that's where, 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 where it started. Um, today we have, uh, we have over 300 employees in our, in our operation here, um, building thousands of doors weekly and distributing them or selling, uh, shipping them all throughout the United States. The, the square footage of the operation is, is right around 350,000 square foot, feet scattered amongst seven different buildings. Given the, given the footprint we, we have, we've, got, uh, we've, had, we've engineered our operation to, to receive, produce lumber, produce parts, assemble doors, and then ship it out. So we've, we've engineered a flow into the operation. This operation is a specialty operation. We build specialty doors. So um, when I say a specialty door, it's our standard order size in many cases is less than two doors on a line item. So it's very complex. Um, building unique doors, special size doors. We can build a door as, as narrow as a foot to as, um, as wide as, as four feet wide, and we can build a door as short as, uh, as 26 inches up to uh, eight feet. It, this facility can build thousands of different styles of doors in thousands of different sizes. Um, so when, when a customer has a special need, that's something that we can do here, and we ship uh, typically ship it ship the doors, the custom doors, the unique doors, in roughly four weeks. The standard doors, you know, when you when you think about a house, you have several doors that are the same size, going into bedrooms or or uh, standard entryways, and then there's some unique doors. It may be a um, a pocket door, it may be a front entry door, it may be a barn door. Uh, for all practical purposes, we're able to pull that all together. Um, as I mentioned, we do have a, a door facility in South America that builds um, pine, radiata pine, knotty pine, and prime doors. We have Asian supply partners that build our knotty alder, and then our hardwood species, our maple, poplar, and oak. Um, we actually have employees in China, or in Asia, um, that inspect the doors on our behalf. So Wood Grains made the investment to make sure that the quality that we're bringing in is to the level that our customers deserve. So there's three legs of the stool. We have Nampa, which, which handles the specialty component of it. We have our Asian, which is more of our hardwood uh, sourcing operation. And then our facilities down in, in South America. We bring it all together. Our customers bring in, in, in large quantities from, from uh, directly from the mills overseas, as well as doors being shipped here domestically. The majority of the doors that we produce each and every year are built domestically, built here in, in, in Nampa, Idaho, in the USA. The other operations support what we what we do here. So our, that's our three-legged stool strategy. And, and what it does is, when you bring those three together, it uh, it creates maximum customer benefit because once again, they're able to source all these doors from from one organization, uh, organization that they trust, an organization that's made investments in sales and marketing and support that our customers need. So that's the value we we, we bring to the market. In, for, for wood grain doors, um, our ratio, we're heavily weighted into the interior side of the business. Roughly 80 to 85 percent of what we do is interior and uh, 15 to 20 percent is exterior. And that varies week, week to week, but in aggregate that's about how it rolls up. We started as an interior door company and we've, over the last 10 years, we've really expanded into the exterior door side. And we, we do a good job there, but just not at the same level of volume that we do on the interior door side. Vertical integration is absolutely imperative to what we do and imperative to delivering our customers a high quality product. So when, when this operation was, was conceived, for lack of a better word, we had our, our, our mill in, in Fruitland producing cut stock and, and material. 
About 80% of the wood that we consume in our domestic operation is internally sourced. So we've got a, we've got a sawmill, we have our remand plant, and then all those that materials going into our doors. So we actually buy the buy the wood and then turn the wood into what we call door lumber, and that's an engineered component. Um, a door a door lumber is a, a, a composition of um, clear material on the ends, core on the inside, and then veneers on the top. You know, what's the value in engineered lumber? The value is the door stays straighter and it's less susceptible to natural variation. When you think about a, a, a solid piece of wood, and if you subject it to heat and moisture, it will do, it'll contort, it'll twist, it'll bend. When we engineer a component, it, 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 it uh, takes that, uh, that, uh, that memory, for lack of a better word, and, and, and makes, the, uh, makes the engineered component much more durable. And that's why we engineer the components associated with our door. Many folks think that it was because of cost. It really wasn't because of cost. It was, it was because of the, improving the performance of the product. So once again, about 80% of the material that we, 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 we source are, is internal. From an internal sourcing perspective, we're able to control the quality. Obviously, um, the supply, you know, we've got, we've got uh, assured supply in the process. And then, of course, as we drive the benefit to the customer and vertical integration, we're able to control the costs. The, the strength of, of wood grain doors beyond our three-legged stool strategy is the support we offer to our customers. Um, being a, a family-owned organization, our, cultures run, our culture runs very true. Um, we, we have core, core uh, values, which in, include customer focus. And uh, you know, it's safety, respect for people, integrity, um, servant leadership, and, and customer focus. And the customer focus is what really differentiates us from many of our competitors. Um, our customers like doing business with wood grain, wood grain doors in particular, and wood grain overall, because of the approachability. We're not, we don't act like a large corporation. We're people just like our customers. Um, they're comfortable picking up the phone, making a phone call, saying, hey, John, what's going on here? We treat our customers fair. You know, we, we do our best to give them good information and let them know when, uh, um, when their product's going to ship. In most cases, we, we perform very well. In a couple uh, instances, maybe there may be a delay, but uh, we try to inform our customers. And, and that's, once again, that open dialogue, that respect, that mutual respect that, that we have is what drives the business. We get material coming in from our, from our own mills, and what we do then is we post-process that, that lumber. We, we, we glue it, we cut it, we, we turn it into door lumber. Once we produce, pr produce a, a piece of door lumber, it goes into two components w w within the door. It either goes on a vertical section, which is referred to as, as a style, or a horizontal uh, section, which is referred to as a rail. So we build door lumber, lumber for both of those, uh, those components. At that point, we, we send it over into our, uh, our parts team, and they'll take the, the, uh, the lumber and turn it into a door part. Once you have the door parts, the styles, vertical and the, and the rails horizontal, you're going to need something to fill the holes. And typically what fills the holes is either a panel, and that could be a raised panel, which has a, a contour to it, or what's real popular right now, a flat panel, a shaker design, those clean, the, the clean look on a door. So, uh, and then the final component is potentially glass. So you know, we build the, the, the lumber, turn it into parts, and then we, when, we, when we're assembling it, we're filling the, filling the holes in, in, in the process. That ties into the types of doors we made. Historically, the majority of the doors that, are, that, that have been made here are tr a traditional panel door. Um, that could be a raised panel, it could be a flat panel, it could be three panels vertically, it could be six panels in, in, a, in a, a vertical and a horizontal orientation. Um, we manufacture well over 2,000 different styles of doors here in our Nampa facility. The next, the next door would be a French door, which typically has glass in it. Um, and once again, because we're a custom shop, we can build a door where we're replacing glass uh, panel with glass. So you can customize your door um, to, to the look you're really wanting to. And it's not uncommon for us to, to build a door that has, it may have nine panels in it, and a customer decides they want to put three pieces of glass inside that door. Um, and then the final, uh, the, the, the final area, it would be an exterior door. And those are typically inch and three quarter doors that have insulated glass as part of it. But those are really the three configurations um, that are primary. There are some doors that, uh, 
that offers some unique flexibility. It's, it's a product line we call router carved. And what's nice about a router carved car door is you're building an MDF slab and then through CNC technology, you're able to surface that door whatever, whatever, whatever finish or whatever design you want on that door. It's just a matter of plugging a, a design into a CNC router. And uh, you know, we've done doors, uh, uh, we have some Broncos fans uh, here being from Boise State or from Denver um, here in, in Boise where we've, we've engraved logos on, on doors. We've engraved children's names in, in their bedroom and in in an image of a, of, a, of, a, of a stuffed bear on a door. So that's another component that, that we offer here in, in, in our NAMP operation, which gives us complete flexibility. Um, and once again, it starts with a blank slab and then we, when we machine the surface. So those are really the, the, the doors we, we, we manufacture. As I mentioned, over a couple thousand different styles. Um, when you compound it with, uh, with sizes, you're talking tens of thousands of variations within, within a door. Uh, that's before you throw species into it. So, you know, we manufacture 13 different species here. Our most prominent uh, species here within our, the door division is primed. It was, you, as you look at the trends in the marketplace, um, right now it's more to pink, grade or prime doors, and our business has followed that. You know, it's still an aggregate uh, smaller than all the other species we want, but when, as we look at it, it's our single largest species and the species that's been growing um, the, the quickest for us. Beyond that, we, we have softwoods and, and ponderosa pine, radiata pine, knotty ponderosa pine, dug fir, hardwoods, maple, poplar, oak, um, Two types of mahogany, some sapelia and, 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 and kaya. Um, then when you, when you look at beyond that, you, we have walnut, we have rustic hickory, um, knotty alder. So once again, 13 different species uh, on top of the different styles and the different uh, sizes that we, we produce here. And we ship, uh, we ship every single day to our customers with the exception of Sundays. So this operation runs uh, runs uh, at least five days a week, sometimes six days a week, and uh, we're shipping every single day except Sundays. Our philosophy on quality is that we have roughly 270 individuals building the doors. The expectation is that every single one of them is a quality inspector. We do have a dedicated quality team on top of that that does inspections and, and make sure that the, the, the product is of the highest quality. But we, what we try to do is we try to make sure that we instill a, a, a number one a safe culture within our all of our employees and secondar secondarily a quality consciousness of, about it.